Hi, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Tonight we're watching Total Recall starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sharon Stone. I think another Total Recall, I think maybe a remake of this one came out in 20... after 2010. But I've not seen that one and I've heard that the original one is better than the one that came out later, which is the case most of the times with so many movies and it's Arnold Schwarzenegger so obviously it's gonna be really good. It's a sci-fi movie and I really like sci-fi movies so without any delay let's just get right into it. Oof. Love it when a movie starts with some really good music, you know, something that hypes you up. Is the red in the back supposed to resemble blood? Maybe not. It's based on a short story. Is it in outer space by any chance? Because that would be so cool and it sort of, sort of looks like that. <gasps> I like it already. It's my kind of movie. Is this Mars? I thought that other girl was you. <sighs> yeah, she was there. She was Didn't there. You are jealous of the dream. You know you're the girl of my dreams. Mean it? Don't think so. And more violence last night on Mars, where terrorists demanding independence. Terrorists on Mars? Which attempted to reopen the sealed off pyramid mines. Mars Administrator Vilos Kohagen vowed that troops would be used, if necessary, to keep production at full capacity. Okay. Do what? Move to Mars. <laughs> it's dry, it's ugly, it's boring. Absolutely not. Mars was colonized by the Northern Bloc at enormous expense. What about Saturn? Huh? Okay, what? Yeah, I would like to see Saturn. We could take one of those long space cruises. He's not listening. He wants to go to Mars. I want to be somebody. You are somebody. No, Do you dream of a vacation at the bottom of the ocean? Come to Recall Incorporated. That is so convenient. Yeah, Mars. Bit of problem? Uh, I'm not interested in Saturn. I said Mars. Okay. You're the boss. Now, in every detail. Mm. If you want a longer trip, that'll cost you a little more pyramid, the Grand Canals, and of course, Venus Bird. But how real does it seem? What about when you travel with recall? Everything. Yeah, but it just sounds so, like, too good to be true. But I want to see what they do. What is it that is exactly the same about every single vacation you have ever taken? You. You're the same. Take a vacation from yourself. And I know, it sounds wild. It is the latest thing in travel. Why go to Mars as a tourist when you can go as a playboy or a famous jock or... Secret agent. How much is that? People are trying to kill you left and right. You meet this beautiful, exotic woman. The girl in his dreams. My question is, does he lie there for two weeks? Two-headed monsters? Don't you keep up with the news? Blue sky on Mars. Been married long? Eight years. Oh. I'll be asking you some questions, Doug, so we can fine-tune the ego program. Blonde, brunette, redhead. 
He's gonna see Connect. a brunette. The one in his dreams. Aggressive, sleazy, be honest. Oh boy, is he gonna have a wild time? <laughs> Isn't that like cheating on your wife in a way? Time is not quite. No, I'm timing now. Oh, okay. He thinks he's that person that. Oh, okay. About Mars, he has really been there because we haven't implanted it yet. Someone has erased his memory. We're talking about the fucking agency. Shut up. But not. Wow. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's why he keeps getting those dreams because he's been there. How did I get in this taxi? The door open. You got in. Is it okay? Right here. Thank you for taking Johnny Cab. Thank you. Oh. But what was he talking about? Blowing his cover. They're gonna come after you. Hey, thank you very much. For <laughs> hey, right hey, come right here. Come on, hey, bring him out. Down here. Hurry. Come on, move it. I don't even know anything about Mars. You should have listened to me, Quaid. I was there to keep you out of trouble. Cool. <laughs> Hi, honey. See how into this recall place up the road? You into those brain butchers? Oh, let me finish. What did they do to you? Tell me. I You're having paranoid delusions. No. Oh, it is a delusion. Hello. That is so creepy. The way he came on screen is like, hello. I would be scared. <laughs> Is that her? Is she shooting? <laughs> so everybody around him was in on it. Why are you doing this, Lori? No. <laughs> God, I never saw you before six weeks ago. Her marriage is just a memory implant. You think I'm stupid? Ah! That, that, that brunette girl. Was that your wife? They erased your identity and implanted a new one. I was written in as your wife so that I could watch you and make sure the erasure took. Your whole life is just a dream. You were the best assignment I ever had. <sighs> really. That is knowing you. What does he remember? Nothing so far. I've got him. Okay, so he remembered, I think he remembered everything at recall. The way he was acting, he was saying, my name is not Doug and they're gonna come after me. But then they erased his memory. A chance. Again. Oh, oh. These guys can track him too. That sucks. But of course they put a tracker on him. Oh, oh, oh poor guy. He was so dangerous, why didn't they just kill him? Why go through so much trouble of erasing his memory and then... What's going on down there? I'm trying to neutralize the traitor, sir. If I wanted him dead, you moron, I wouldn't have dumped him on Earth. I want Quaid delivered alive for re-implantation. Have you got that? Switching to another channel, sir. I've got Sunspot. <laughs> you should have killed Quaid on Mars. Yeah, I knew somebody was going to explain. I want them to explain why they didn't kill him. Because he's so important, he's so skilled. He doesn't know he has a tracker on him, does he? We need to take care of that first. They've got your bug. They'll be busted down your door in about three minutes unless you do exactly what I say. The bug's in your skull. Oh. 
Come on, hurry up. You look beautiful. <laughs> what was I doing on Mars? Mm. Maybe there would be information on there. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, lady. Excuse me, ma'am, but I need it. Fuck you, you asshole! <laughs> that guy there. Oh. I'm Johnny Cat. Where can I take you tonight? Somewhere far away. Would you please repeat the destination? Oh, anywhere, just go, go! Please state a street and number. The cars are so ugly, though. Sue me, dickhead. Oh. How did that happen? Ooh. It's you. Cool. If things have gone wrong, I'm talking to myself, and you've got a wet towel wrapped around the head. Oh. Picked up an explosion at the old cement factory. I knew that explosion was gonna help them find him. Unfortunately. Listening to this, that means that he has got to me first. Oh. Get your ass to Mars. Then go to the Hilton and flash that group bag ID at the desk. Don't let me down. Pack up, pack up. Hurry, don't leave anything. Huh? Who? Huh? Is that him? Weeks. Mm, what? I thought it was him. Now I don't know. Whoa. Wait. It is him. Get him. Her. The Dude, how do you fix that? Whoa. They're all connected. Who told you to shoot like a maniac? Well, that's a rumor, isn't it? What alien shit? So many things that I want to know, so many things that are going on. It all might end. You're fucking making it happen! I don't give you enough information to think! Ooh. Is this guy gonna end up killing this other guy, Kohagen? Probably not, but I don't know. We've got a tricky situation here. Do you think you could play along? Yes, sir. Great. Because otherwise I'll erase your ass. You need a taxi, sir? I got magazines, I got music, I got whiskey. Hey, hey man, you need a cab, man? Taxi that gives you whiskey? Oh, he's checking if it's his handwriting. Okay. <laughs> he ain't got five kids to... Voila! Venusville! <laughs> Venus will. Somebody said something about Venus will. Oh, the guy at Recall was telling him about Venus will. Okay. Here, yeah. I'll show you the way. Do you want to know the future? What about the past? Read your palm, your mind, your aura. What happened to them? Cheap domes and nowhere to clean out the rays. Oh. I got five kids to feed. Take him to the dentist. Hey. I don't know why after watching that video that he left for himself and taking out the thing in his head i don't know why i thought that he would suddenly remember everything or maybe he was going to tell himself everything in that video <laughs> thanks i'll wait for melina hey mel <laughs> is that the brunette hey. You got a lot of nerve showing your face around here, Hauser. 
Look who's talking. Honey, take care of Tony, will ya? No problem. You son of a bitch. You're alive. I thought the Cohagen tortured you to death. How's it they got you alive? I'm telling you something. What? I don't know you. I don't remember you. I don't remember you. I didn't lose my mind. Cohagen stole it. He found out that Hauser switched sides, so he turned him into some... You never loved me, Hauser. You just used me to get inside. Out! Helena, please! People are trying to kill me. Really? Mm. Federal colleague. Mr. Quato and his terrorists must understand that they... We need to meet this, Mr. Quato. I'm afraid you're not really standing here right now. Huh? Is he in recall? Where are we? At recall. You're strapped into an implant chair. What you're experiencing is a freeform delusion based on our memory tapes. I've been artificially implanted as an emergency measure. How much is Cohagen paying you for this? Think about it. And what about the girl? Brunette, athletic, sleazy, and demure? Now she's real. I dreamt about her before I even went to recall. You open it. No need to be rude. I'll do it. Well, I suppose you're not here either. I'm here. At recall. No. I'd never do anything to hurt you. I want you to come back to me. To... Hmm. Your whole life is ahead of you. But you've got to want to return to reality. Swallow this. Mm hmm. What is... Inside your dream, you'll fall asleep. Okay, now I'm doubting this. In your mind, I'll be dead. And with no one to guide you out, you'll be stuck in permanent psychosis. I don't know why I'm doubting it. Swallow it! After we asked him to take a pill, because they can just as well, you know, put him to sleep and take him back to Earth and then make things look like the, what they're saying is what... Ah! Slit. Mm -hmm. Dude, they made it sound so real. I was like, yeah, that is totally a possibility that maybe that's what's happening. Ooh. She came. <laughs> of course, Sharon Stone won't die so easily. Honey, you wouldn't hurt me. We're married. Not anymore. Consider that a divorce. <laughs> so you come back to apologize. Mm, I don't think so. Wants to see you. Quato, finally we get to see who that is. Did you never kill anybody? I don't know. Why, why, why didn't he shoot? He was shooting at all the mice. Don't do it! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Behind him. The dome will crack! I love this cab driver. Oh. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Very nice. They broke so many glasses for this movie. Stop fighting and pull out. But they've got Quaid, they're protecting him. Oh no. Oh no, but then they'll all die. What? Our settlers are buried here. Quato's gonna make you remember some things you knew when you were Hauser. Like what? Like maybe you'll remember that you loved me. I don't need Quato for that. Mm -hmm. Since when? Since always, he's been dreaming about you every single night. I didn't find Grandpa, but... Coag has depressurized the tunnels. They drill through to Section M. We can't. I hope it was worth it. So do I. You must know something pretty damn important, Quaid. That's up to Quato. 
Come with me, Quay. You're not Quato. Every person... Oh, who is Quato? I heard the rumors about the Pyramid Mine. Yeah. About the aliens. Well, Hagen's big secret is buried in that black hole you call a brain. Mmm. And Quato's gonna dig it out. Mmm. Quato's a mutant. So don't get upset when you see him. Is that taxi driver by any chance, Quato? Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. A man is defined by his action, not his mood. Mm, this is so cool. This looks like video game, the shot. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe they want a meltdown. Half a million years old. Let's make sure Wow, what is that? What? Wake up! We found us! Shit! It found us! Everybody out! Ready. Oh, don't die. What's Benny looking at the door like that when he went into Quato's office? Is there something that's clay? You let us write to him. I got four kids to feed. What happened so to, what number happened five? to number five? I ain't even married. Oh, Benny. Way start the refactor. Remark. Oh, Benny. You're a hero. Fuck you. Huh? Hauser and I sat down and invented you. The perfect mole. You know you're lying. Hauser volunteered to become Doug Quaid. It was the only way to fool the psychics. So why am I still alive? We gave you lots of help. Benny here. My pleasure, man. What? Growing up everything I spent a year planning. Frankly, I'm amazed it worked. Who is it this time? My mother? Hauser. Ah. Uh. Howdy, Quaid. We meet in our dreams. What the hell? What the hell? <sighs> there are so many plot twists in this movie. What are they gonna do to her? She's gonna be Hauser's babe. <laughs> See you at the party. That is so crazy that they can do that to a person. Keep still. Fighting just makes it hurt. <laughs> if you don't keep still, you'll end up psychotic. Kill him. It's about goddamn time. That guy wanted to do that from the very beginning. Why? Oh, what about these guys? Oh, I thought it was gonna start moving. the reactor so in a way Benny helped them get here mm. Benny was such a disappointment I was so rooting for him the Hagen knows it makes here the bastard won't turn it on Wow enough for the whole planet Wow what an asshole Totally 
forgot about that hologram and I was like, what is he made out of metal? Do you think this is the real Quaid? It is. <laughs> Mars will go into global meltdown. That's why the aliens never turned it on. Yeah, they were talking about something... Meltdown. I didn't want it to end this way. I wanted Hauser back. You're gonna die anyway. <laughs> what if it turns out that he was telling the truth? Turn on, quickly, they need air. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Shouldn't those guys be dead by now? There you go, much needed. Air. Ooh. It's like, here you go. Take it. Take it. <laughs> that is so cool. Blue sky. So cool. That guy was such an asshole, keeping something like that to himself. Like, that is such a big thing. How does he have so much power to make that decision on his own? I can't believe it. It's like a dream. What if it turns out to be a dream at the end? What if this is a dream? Yeah, that would be so messed up. If that's how they end it. I was scared for a moment that he was gonna wake up at recall and that's how they're gonna end the movie. I would have been very upset. Huh. That Gohagen guy having so much power to make that decision on his own to not write the entire planet with air and atmosphere and all that stuff and that thing you have that resource you can do that you don't even have to build anything this was here already all you have to do is just turn this thing on but they were talking something about they were saying something about the meltdown what were they talking about i'm just gonna watch it again Okay, so they were discussing, they were saying that we should destroy this place before the rebels found, find it and then someone said we should turn it on and see what happens and then the scientist guy is telling them that we cannot risk that because it could mean a meltdown on a planetary scale and then the other guy's like, don't you think the aliens thought of that? And then they're like, maybe they wanted a meltdown, maybe it's a trap. So yeah, he did believe that. Kohigan did believe that maybe something like that would happen. They didn't know for sure what was going to happen if they turn it on. 
Okay. Hmm. Still hate the guy though, but the movie itself, so many twists. They would just give you a shocker after every 15, 20 minutes. It was crazy. Something new. And when that guy came in, um, came to Mars with Sharon Stone, um, they were pretending that he was still in recall and he was telling him about that stuff. He made me believe that maybe he was right. The way he was, it was so convincing and it just suits so well. Like, yeah, maybe that's what's happening. But then when he said, swallow this pill and you're going to go to sleep, that's when I started not trusting him because if he swallows a pill, they can just put him back on earth and make everything look like, yeah. But he did kill his work buddy. They would erase his memory again. Yeah, that's just, that's what they would have done. So as soon as he took out that pill, I was like, he's not, he's not telling the truth. There is no way. Like I said, I was wondering in the beginning why if he is such a big risk that they had to go through all of these, they had to do all these things, all, take all these measures, they had to erase his memory, make a fake life and put him in there and have people watching him. They had to plant a bug in his head. They had to do so many things. Why not just kill this guy if he's such a big risk? So I knew there was going to be some reason and but I did not expect that to be something so big that it was him, his plan, he was actually evil and wow. I mean, that is some, that is a crazy plan. Hauser was a bad guy, bad man, really bad man. I was hoping they would show us some of Saturn, but you know, that planet is so pretty with its ring and everything. This movie was so much action, but it was also like, what do you call it? A thriller, a psychological thriller, you know, with a lot of things that are just messing with your brain. The script was so good. And the director, Paul, um, I know how to spell his surname. I just don't want to say it because if I pronounce it wrong, then you're going to make fun of me. But isn't he the same director who did um, Starship Troopers and Robocop? Yeah, I think you guys told me in those movies to watch this one and it's done by the same director. And now that I read the name, I think it's the same director. Let me just check. I ab absolutely loved this one. I think this one is my favorite out of these three if I have to pick one. No, actually, I really liked Robocop too. I mean, Starship Troopers was good too, but I think I, if I have to choose between these two space movies, I like this one better. I was a little frustrated at some of the characters in that movie, but the movie was good. But this one, this one just, this one hits different. This one was so good. I just can't get over this. The story is... I want to read the book that this one is based on. It's a short novel. I want to read that now, now that I've seen this, because it just looks so interesting. All the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies that we're watching on this channel, they're all so good. I told my brother today that I was going to watch Total Recall and he was like, yeah, you're going to love it. He was right. So good. Anyways, I really enjoyed this movie and I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please go ahead, like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell and I'll see you soon.